Hey what is up guys Johnny here I'm back with another tutorial today we look the hive mind dungeon in Shadowgun Legends so at the start of the dungeon you will start in this area one player should go left one player should go right there are two locks that you have to uh, to hit uh, one is on the right you have a jump pad you have to kill something on the wall and then hit the switch one is pretty easy to find on the left so when both switch are activated you will go in this area and it will trigger a flashback there's nothing to do here just uh, go inside watch the boss uh, if you're listening he's trying to tell you something it's not so clear what he's saying but there's nothing to do here just wait the flashback will be over and you will be back to the same place where you were before the flashback started so you have two things to hack one left one right so you can split and uh, hack the console <clears throat> trying to breach no fail and when both things or both, both hacks are uh, finished you will enter this area and this is your first hive you have to destroy there's four in the dungeon look at these blue things they called clusters you have three clusters to destroy and then it's when you start doing damage there's a timer you have 60 seconds to destroy the black ball you can only deal damage on the ball when it's black when you destroyed all three clusters then you go on the there's two doors to go there one on each end and this is your first big fight of the dungeon uh, you can use am bomb to make it easy first target should be the void caller this guy can do nasty aoe damage so kill the void caller first if you can then there's a crusher on the right near the um, the barrier so uh destroy the guy near the force field use am bombs again if all three guys got am bombs it's gonna make the big fights much easier uh we all use supercharger and am bomb on this dungeon and it was pretty good we did the uh, consistent uh clear times around 10 minutes and it's the first day this dungeon was released when you're done with the fight look on the ground for ammo and then uh when you when you're done killing everything it should disable the force field so then you're good to go to this area click two switches only once it uh it disables force field and then you're good to move here we, we messed up and we click some things twice, but you only have to click everything once then you're good to go uh, through the whole thing there was a miscommunication here but it doesn't matter this thing's pretty easy you just have to go all the way and there will be your first loot box here on the right so first loot box, loot box there's three in this dungeon uh then you have a switch or two to activate to activate the jump pad after the jump pad check the right disable this force field and then again three blue cost clusters to be able to deal damage on the second data hive uh, destroy the clusters first and then kill the data hive some enemies will spawn but as soon as you destroy the hive everything disappears so you don't have to kill all the uh the ads just focus on the hive and try to dodge the damage then go back check on the left here there's a door and a switch here my friends going there it will open the ventilation shaft or ventilating ventilation ducts it will open the way and now you're in this area there's gonna be another flashback there's nothing to do here just enter this blue room and the flashback will trigger so again uh try to hear what the boss is saying to you we tried to listen a couple of times we didn't hear much but after the flashback you will be back pretty much where you were oh no you will be split yeah that time everyone will be split so just try to regroup together on the next data hive again one cluster in this room one cluster in the open and one cluster is super annoying it's uh, you have to shoot through this little hole here and you're getting shot in the back while doing this so you will die sometimes here then you got 60 seconds to destroy the black ball again the data hive once it's done every uh gray enemies will just disappear so try to just ignore everything focus on the hive because you you got time right uh if you start killing everything you might run out so now it's another big fight there will be a crusher there will be a void color and there will be a hellstorm so this is a pretty big fight uh use your supercharger on the key targets i suggest getting rid of the again the void color and the hellstorm because this guy can also deal pretty good damage so hellstorm kill this dude and then kill everything you have to kill everything uh, to disable the force field again they call it the force field guards i think 
and there's a switch here behind me you will see right here this switch will activate the um i don't want to say elevators but you will see when they when it's activated so kill everything to disable the force field and hit the switch to be able to move up in the next area you will see right here it's um gr gravity lift online all right and then again you can look for ammo on the ground before you move to the next area now go up there will be a uh, uh closed door on the right here with a red switch you have to kill the switch to open the door and there's another this is the last one hive mind uh data hive sorry uh, with one cluster in the open and one cluster behind that door, you have to kill the force field to get the second cluster. So all first of the three data hive have three clusters, but the last one only have two clusters. So that's it. You kill this one and then it's going to be pretty much it. You're going to have to, uh, there's one part before the boss fight and it's not really hard. So there's... You have to travel to the past. It says uh, power the time travel device. So one player should go up the stairs, kill the left switch. There's two things to activate. One doesn't seem to do anything. You can activate three times, but it, it doesn't seem to change anything. If you don't touch it, or if you touch it once, or two times, or three times, one player will hack this console, and then that's it. The, the arm, the automated arm will go... Uh, and activate the time travel device so when it's done all three guys will move up the stairs and jump into the uh the device travel to the past so you will uh you will have a new part it's gonna be all black and gray uh it seems like you travel to the past and you will be in the labs but in the old labs you will see some old elevators instead of uh gravity lifts and you will have a like you see here it's all black and gray so go down the elevator here on the left and they say you have to deploy a uh, an antivirus so all you got to do is find a console and click it it's going to be on the left here you will see right after the elevator go left and there's the console just click it and it will say uh antivirus uploaded now you're gonna have to destroy time travel research all you gotta do is you will not see it on screen because my friends already ran and i was busy uh with the stream but <clears throat> there's like four screens it's like tvs you have to find and they all at the same place uh here where you see these uh black computers there were four screens to destroy there just shoot at them and then it's gonna teleport you back in time and it's gonna be time for the boss fight so when you are back in the time machine, just go right and left. And that will be it. There will be another loot box here on the right. If you go left to the boss, you will miss that box, guys. But this is the uh, other loot box. I don't even know if I did show all three boxes. Probably sure we only did two this run. All right, so this is the boss fight, guys. You see these black balls? Uh, you have to destroy four of these. So there's one behind right when you start. There's one on the far left behind these mountains. There's one on the far right if you look down the cliff. And there's one in the middle behind some mountains also in between two mountains. So you split the work. When you kill all four, it will kill the shield on the boss. So you have to destroy the bottom part first, guys. If I know some guys shoot the legs first. And then they, they start shooting at the head. This is the wrong way to do it. And it will glitch your end run. You will have no extraction or you sometimes maybe no loot. So what the right way to do it is disable the shield by killing all four uh, data hive black balls. And then shoot the bottom part again. You don't have enough time to destroy it in the first run. It will reshield. You will have to kill all four balls again. Then it will deactivate the shield. Then shoot at the bottom thing again. Try to do as much damage as possible. If it reshield a second time, well, just kill the black balls again. That's what I do. I kept the left part. My friends kept the middle and the right, and they split the. Uh, it's teamwork. If you play with randoms, uh, some people will maybe running around not knowing what to do. But you know there are four balls to destroy. 
to disable the shield so you will see now shield is disabled we finally kill the bottom part next you kill the four legs all you gotta do and you see the shield on the the face or the the top part when you're done killing the four legs there's no shield anymore so now just focus on the the front part and that's gonna be it you're gonna see if you do it right you will have a uh, result at the end you will have extraction time and you will have your final time so this is the last part is pretty short the the bottom part is the one with the most hp the legs are pretty easy to kill and then the face can do a lot of damage when i'm on the left i never take any damage but my friends in the middle the face is uh shooting a laser beam and it's gonna kill you pretty easy if you don't avoid it but then that's it just collect the loot and uh go back to the hub and do it again as you can see we've been running it a couple times today we do around 10 minutes we're not really trying to speed run or anything uh if we try to do faster we could probably do under eight minutes i guess um but yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any comment leave a comment below and again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications watch my other videos i'll be back soon take care